What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. I wanted to do a video talking about what I believe is the absolute best number one way to generate leads for pretty much any business. And I wanted to do this video because I've been on a couple of different uh, panel discussions and podcasts today, and uh, it came up quite a bit, the difference between generating your own leads, buying leads, just different experiences with uh, different lead sources, right? And it just reminded me of how powerful this strategy is that I'm going to share with you, uh, especially over the long run. And I think people uh, discount it. They overlook it, maybe think it's too much work. It's not worth it. It's going to take too long, whatever. And they don't realize the long-term benefits that you're going to get from it. And um, uh, there was a comment that came up in one of the live streams. This gentleman asked uh, if anybody had found like the best lead gen, gen service for that industry that actually works. And when he said actually works, that reminded me of like, or it made me think about like the, he, he's probably gone through a lot of different Legion services, probably uh, purchased a lot of leads and it just, he hasn't had a lot of results with it. And there's a reason for that. And if you implement what I'm going to talk about in this video, you never have to ask, you'll never have to ask that question ever again. If you're willing to stay consistent, put the work in, right. And you're in your business for the long run, not just the next you know, three months, right? Then this is the best way to generate leads. You know how I know that? Because I've done it myself, right? That, that's what I focus on in, on this channel, guys, is just sharing my journey with you, things that have worked for me and my clients, right? Things that I'm testing out, playing around with, et cetera. Here it is. It's content marketing, guys. Starting a YouTube channel or maybe a blog, a podcast. Pick whatever channel you want. I don't care, okay? Here's the thing is you need to start sharing your expertise with the world. Get your expertise out there. Start, start answering questions that people have. Provide value to people. And over time, people are going to organically and just naturally find you. And I'm going to go into the main benefits of this, how to create content, like how to come up with different pieces of content to create. Uh, but the first thing I want to show you is the new YouTube channel that I started roughly about three months ago. And I, I want to show this to you to prove that it doesn't take as long as you think. When you have a system, when when you, it's not even that complicated, like knowing how to create thumbnails, you know, a little bit about uh, YouTube SEO and stuff like that, maybe a little bit of video editing. I have all of this in my YouTube mastery, uh, YouTube channel mastery course, it's super cheap. I think it's 297. I'll have a link down in the description below. Maybe I hook you guys up with a discount, whatever. But anyways, um, when you stay consistent with this, you can actually start getting results from it pretty quick. All right. So I want to show this to you. All right. Uh, let me bring up, let me share my screen here. All right, just to show you how powerful this is. Okay, here we go. So this is my new YouTube channel, all right? And it, it, it's all about the infinite banking concepts, dividend paying whole life insurance, IULs, like what the difference is and stuff like that. And I'm doing the same, pretty much the same exact thing that I did with my marketing agency here, Leads for Locals, with this channel, where I'm just sharing my expertise, what I'm learning, how I'm using these different different thing, the infinite banking concept, whole life insurance, et cetera, how it's impacting my life. And I'm just sharing value with people. I'm just putting my, my knowledge and expertise and sharing my journey. That's it. But look at this guys. I've, I started this channel barely uh, three months ago and I'm already at 141 subscribers. Look at this. In the last 28 days, I've had 3,100 views, almost 350 public watch hours, watch time there. Okay. And uh, I also just had, um, it's actually, whoop, I just had my first video get a thousand views. If we go right here, it's this one, right? And we look at the analytics, look at this. Okay. A thousand views, 107 watch time hours, 23 subscribers. Like, and here's the thing, not every video is going to do this, but guys, when you have a framework, a proven framework and system that, that has worked which <laughs> that's exactly what I'm utilizing here. You can actually start to get results pretty quick. So far, this channel has generated about 52 leads. It's people that have requested a free masterclass that I put together around this topic. And I put that link in the description of every video. Uh, I started a Facebook group as well. I've got a link to that. Okay. Uh, of course, they can book a call. And I've had two booked appointments so far. Now, you might, you might uh, hear that and say, oh, well, that's not a lot. Well, you're right. It's not a ton. It's maybe not as much as you would get if you did Facebook ads or your purchase leads. But these are people that are watching my content. They're experiencing me on the videos. Okay. And then showing additional interest afterwards. And when people book appointments from your content, guys, 
I'm telling you, it's the, it is a night and day difference in the type of conversation you have with people after they have consumed some type of content from you, preferably video, because they, it just makes them feel like they know you a little bit more. Podcast would be second, uh, blog would be third, but the power of video is just, it's just incredible when it comes to generating really, really high quality leads and uh, for your business and appointments and, and eventually sales. Now, there's a couple of other things I want to uh, I want to share with you here. Uh, let, let's go back to full screen. I've just got some uh, bullet points just to keep me on track here. All right, but here's the thing. Like, so like I said, with content, you're, it's going to generate the best leads ever for your business. And uh, if you've ever bought leads or you've done um, uh, other like paid advertising or not, not that there's anything wrong with paid advertising, guys. I actually recommend people have paid advertising and a long-term content marketing system. Just a lot of the times people only focus on buying leads or paid traffic. They neglect the long-term content marketing lead generation system, unfortunately. But I, I have plenty of clients that get results from uh, leads from Facebook ads, right? But it's a different experience. When you're generating leads from Facebook ads and then those leads come in, now you, you're reaching out to them you probably have experienced this. I, th this is feedback that I get from people too, is a lot of people don't answer the phone right away. That's totally normal. Uh, obviously you have to stay consistent, make sure you're calling at different times of the day, et cetera, and you will get results. I have clients doing that in multiple different industries. So I'm not saying it doesn't work, okay? But when we contrast that to a lead that was generated from a piece of content, they book an appointment, I don't have to call them to get them to book an appointment. I don't, I'm not chasing them down or anything. I'm, I'm letting people come to me with this, with, with, uh, from the content. Okay. It's a totally different type of ex, uh, uh, experience when you get them on the phone and you call them and have that conversation because they're already pre-sold on your product and service and, and the, the, the solution that you provide, because a lot of the, of what you talk about in your content is, is you're answering questions. You are talking about how the different products and services work and how they solve X, Y, Z problems. You're answering people's questions and, and showing them that there is a solution to whatever problem they're having. And it, it, it so it pre-sells exactly uh, what it is that you do. So by the time you get somebody on the phone, for example, when I go on these appointments, I don't really need to explain what the infinite banking concept is. And, and I don't need to hide the fact that it's dividend paying whole life insurance that we're doing. Like I openly speak about that stuff. Right. So I know that when someone uh, books an appointment, they're interested in learning in the infinite banking concept, the you know, dividend paying whole life insurance or whatever it might be. I'm not obviously it's not always going to be like, you know, amazing conversations. But I'm saying like when people consume so much uh, like a lot of your content first before they reach out to you and then they reach out to you, it's the best lead you're ever going to generate in your business, guys. All right. Now, here's the next thing is this is a long-term lead generation strategy, okay? We're not thinking short-term here. So when I tell you I've generated 52 leads so far, just name an email, offering a, a free masterclass, that's my lead magnet, and then I've generated two appointments, that doesn't sound like a lot. And it's not for, you know, like I, I want a lot, a lot more appointments, right? But I'm thinking long-term. I've only been doing this channel for about three months now. It's already gaining a lot of momentum, okay? I'm thinking about the next six to 12 months. And, and I have so much confidence in this because I've already done it with this channel, my, my Leads for Locals marketing channel. I know what consistent content on, a, on YouTube can do for a business. It's what built my business, guys. It's, it's, I, I built a multiple six-figure per year agency from YouTube. No, no fancy uh, like ad campaigns or, or anything like that. I, you know, obviously, I, I did some direct outreach and stuff like that, but I'm saying... The, the primary source of all my leads, appointments, sales in my business comes from YouTube. It is, it's just awesome. Because here's the thing, is every piece of content you create essentially becomes a 24-7 salesperson for you, your brand, your business. Imagine you own a brick and mortar business. Somebody walks in through the front door and a salesperson goes up to greet them, to help them, right? That's what your content is. It's that salesperson. When somebody shows interest or has a question about your product and service, the video does the selling for you, right? And uh, it's it's long term too, because like uh, I, I generate leads, appointments, sales from videos I did years ago, guys. Like it, it's it's crazy, <laughs> uh, like how how consistent it, it can be 
over the long run. But you have to be thinking long term because you're you're not going to generate a ton of leads and appointments and sales in the first six to 12 months. It's going to start, you know, assuming you're being consistent, you've got a, the right framework, it will start to generate results, but you have to give it time. That's why I think having paid a paid advertising system in place as well to get those leads coming in right away is very important. It's not that one is necessary. Well, I would say content marketing is better than any paid advertising, but short term paid advertising wins, obviously. But you want to make sure you're putting content out there, sharing your expertise, answering questions, et cetera. We'll talk about that, uh, the type of content you want to create in a minute. But um, you want that in place for your long term lead generation. And the question that the gentleman asked earlier that I brought up about the best Legion service that actually works, well, you'll never, ever have to ask that question again. If you put you consistently put out enough content, whether it's YouTube, blogs, uh, podcasts, doesn't matter. You do that long enough, you're not going to need to buy leads. You're not going to need to run paid advertising. I don't need to run paid advertising. I, I generate all of my business from my YouTube channel right now. So... It's, a, it's really, really powerful, guys. Long-term lead generation, the, the quality of the leads is really, really good. All right, it pre-sells your product and service. Here's the other thing it does. If you're in a business that takes appointments, it creates this kind of almost mini celebrity factor a little bit where when, when people uh, get on the appointment, like I've had people ask me like, hey, is this Matt from the video on YouTube? I mean, imagine starting a conversation like that, guys. Like you, they already know you, they feel like they know you, they've experienced your personality. They have, they, they, they already see you as the authority figure, the expert, because of all the content, all of your content that they have consumed so far, you've answered so many questions. You provided so much value to them that they reached out to you to have a conversation. And a lot of the times it's just to clarify a couple of things. They have a few questions that maybe wasn't covered and, you know, about the product or service or whatever. Right. And they just need a little bit of clarification. But guys, I don't have a sophisticated sales process. I don't have like a fancy presentation that I put anybody through. I don't need to handle like tons of objections or anything. I'm just answering questions, clarifying for people. That's it. And then pointing them in the right direction. Now, that doesn't mean I always make a sale or anything like that. But here's the thing. I don't even really try to make a sale. I let pe like people because people are already sold on the product and service already anyways, a lot of the time. So once I answer their questions, I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say like, okay, send me the link, send me the invoice. I'm ready. I didn't have to do, I didn't, I didn't have to push them into anything, show them a fancy sales presentation, nothing guys. It's just providing value, educating people, sharing your journey. That's it. All right. One last thing, uh, one, uh, uh, last benefit I want to talk about real quick, and then we'll get into, uh, the, the type, like coming up with content to create. Uh, this benefit is often overlooked, I think, and misunderstood because when people are typically getting into marketing uh, and like generating leads, they're only thinking about that, just generating leads. They, they're not considering the fact that with a content marketing channel, especially something like YouTube, you can create multiple income streams in your business. So I have lots of different income streams now. Okay. But what's great about something like YouTube, number one, uh, a different income stream that you can generate is your channel can get monetized. When you have, uh, right now, I think it's when you hit, it's like 500 or a thousand, I think it's 500 subscribers now. They, it used to be a thousand. And then when your channel reaches 3000 public watch hours, that's at the time of this recording, every single video that you have put on your channel now generates revenue. That's crazy. I uh, like my channel, my marketing channel, ad revenue every every single month, right? Uh, and it's a it's a whole new revenue stream that you're getting paid for on a regular basis. It's it's really really passive uh, because it's it, a lot of times coming from videos you've already made, and then every new video that you put out now becomes a revenue stream in addition to generating leads, appointments, sales, selling your product, service, etc. Here's another income stream. Affiliate referral partners, affiliate programs and referral partners. You can put links to different tools, resources, software that you're using that that's helping you with your business. Or maybe um, there's a partnership you can create uh, and develop that you refer people to this partner uh, for a product and service that is it's right for your particular audience, but you don't provide it to, like put on a, a create a partnership and get revenue from that. So, for example, 
on my new channel talking about infinite banking, giving and paying on life insurance and building wealth, building and protecting wealth with that. One of the ways I'm going to be using my policies is private money lending. So I actually found a really good course on how to become a private money lender. And I just, I fell in love with it. I was like, I've, I've got to share this with my audience. And I did. And I reached out to them and asked, do you have a referral program? I would love to partner up with you guys. Sure enough, they do. So now on every video I make talking about private money lending and infinite banking, I put a link in the description that gets people 10% off to that course. And I get a commission on it. So now I'm, I'm already creating multiple streams of income from that one content channel. Right. So really think about that, guys. It, you know, it, it seems like, you know, video, whatever. It's a lot of work. I'm uncomfortable. I say get over it. All right. Stop making excuses and just do it. Just start doing it. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be super professional or anything. You're going to get better with it over time. Uh, if you want, I'll have my YouTube channel mastery course in the uh, in the description. It's super cheap. It shows you how I build my YouTube channels, my framework for growing a channel. If you want to check it out. All right. But Anyways, uh, moving on, I want to talk about coming up with different types of content to create. And I've done a lot of different training on uh, like the funnels you need to create. And I, you know, I've got the YouTube channel mastery course. I have some uh, training on uh, video editing and stuff like that. I'll link all that down below too. But I want to finish up with just giving you some ideas about come how, like how to come up with content. All right, that's a that's a big roadblock I think for a lot of people when they 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 would do content marketing they're just not sure what to create right so here's where here's an easy place to start guys answer questions that people have okay so you probably know like the top 5 10 15 questions that people often ask or have when interacting with your brand and business answer those questions create content in-depth content answering those questions teach people okay Share your expertise, share your knowledge. You are really good at what you do. Okay. You're an, you're consider, you would be considered an expert in what you do. That's why you have your business. You know more about what you do than your audience does. Share that knowledge, share what it is that you're learning, learning lessons that you've had, obstacles you overcome, things that, uh, like mistakes that people can avoid. All right. This, this comes down to sharing your journey as well. Uh, like what inspired you to start your business and, why are you doing what you're doing? All right. If you're testing things, if you're going through some trial and error, like, uh, you know, a lot of the times with my marketing agency, I'll, uh, you know, we test different campaigns and stuff like that. And I'll make content around that saying, showing like, hey, here's what we did. Here's our results. You want to learn more? You want to set this up for your, your business? Link down in the description, something like that, whatever. Right. But just sharing the journey, sharing things that you're working on, what's getting results, things like that. All right. Um, at the end of the day, just focus on providing value, educate people. All right. And here's the thing too. There's two different types of audiences that you can go after here that you can put your content in front of. Obviously it is, uh, so I'll give you an example for my new channel. Okay. Um, actually, uh, we'll, we'll stick with lease for locals. So it's a marketing agency. Okay. There's two main audiences that I can create content for. One is business owners that want to work with me that want me to set up marketing campaigns and stuff. That would be like my ideal prospect, right? But there's also other agency owners, other business owners in the same industry that might be interested in coaching and consulting, learning how I've built my agency. How did I build my YouTube channel? How do I get the same results for my clients? That's a whole other audience that you can create content for. So for example, if you're, if you're a salon owner, right? Uh, creating a, a YouTube channel uh, around, you know, doing hair uh, or uh, like uh, how to take care of your hair and stuff. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. You can absolutely do that. But I'm just thinking like a local salon owner trying to generate leads. It can it can absolutely work for sure. But um, I like YouTube for uh, like a nationwide audience. But here's the thing is you could start a channel talk, uh, sharing your journey as a salon owner, how to build a, a successful salon business how to hire hairdressers, how to retain hairdressers, customer supports and customer ret uh, client retention, how to do product sales, right? You know, all the things that you know how to do is a, a perfect opportunity for you to create a content marketing channel and generate leads for your business in a whole other way that maybe you didn't even think of. Like, like I said, you know, maybe, maybe your audience, you thought, was your ideal prospect that you normally go uh, that that you normally target, but maybe now you're thinking, hey, 
I actually do know how to run a salon. I know how to run a plumbing business. I know how to, you know, run a car dealership. I know how to do sales. I know I'm really good at what I do. Let me teach other people how I've done it so that they can uh, get the same results as well. Like there's so many opportunities there, guys. So anyways, uh, I will go ahead and wrap up with that. Again, I will put additional training in the description on like specifically how to do some of these things if you want to learn more. But I just wanted to plant the, the seed uh, in your head about creating like just the power of content marketing, things like YouTube videos, blog posts, podcasts, whatever it is that you decide to do, thinking long term for your business. Because I'm telling you guys, as someone who has experienced that uh, this and still experiences it on a regular basis, these things can continue to grow your business really as long as you have the channel up and running and you're still creating content. It is incredible and it's life-changing and it's an absolute game changer for your business. If you're willing to stay consistent, you're willing to put in the work, step outside your comfort zone a little bit, think long-term. All right. So either way, hope you guys are crushing it. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, Maddie Ice is out.